have a unique relationship to the theme of identity. Think about it. All the comic books we've read together have been about identity in some way. Destructo was a billboard for the main character's massive ego. The Brave Owlette was a story of transformation of identity so that the Brave Owlette through stories becomes brave. Even The Foundling was about recognition and misrecognition of identity. Is it really a baby? Jerry never really understands and that's the joke. So comics have this relationship to identity for a number of reasons. In America, comics are deeply, deeply associated with the superhero genre. And superheroes, they're about transforming identity. You put on a cowl or you take off your glasses and you either, and you, you either lose your, your scared self and become heroic or you put away your fake self and you, you become your Superman. But autobiographical comics are also about identity and often about transformations of identity. Art Spiegelman transforms the Holocaust into a story of animals, mice and cats, in order to understand it, in order to separate his identity a little bit so he can approach the issues. Alison Bechtel just won a MacArthur Award. Why? Because she's able to talk about her own transformation and identity, her own coming out. So comics are also about identity because many of us come to comics when we're very young. And that kind of cuts two ways. On the one hand, it associates comics deeply with who we are. On the other hand, it forever labels comics juvenile, which is troubling for the literature of comics. So today we have Miriam Munoz's Tiny. And in some ways, when you open this up, I think you'll see it's drawn in a delightful way. It could almost be a children's story. But the more you'll read, the more you'll see that it's dark. It's about identity, and it's, it's a dark story. So, so where does this leave us? Well, I think the challenge that Tiny puts forward is how to have meaning in your life. How, how can your identity have a serious meaning to it? And I want to suggest that comics both show us this and provide the answer. That making comics, making art, is a way of finding meaning for yourself, no matter how dark your story is. Onwards.